Now, your exclusive seven storm team forecast. Yeah, welcome back everybody. Sleep tight weather view actually takes us back to the north here. This is the province of Saskatchewan and the cities of Regina and Saskatoon. And you can see the smoke filled air that they have gotten. This is just, uh, we're getting a little taste of what they've had up there, but massive wildfires going up in the northern half of Saskatchewan up there and actually northern Alberta, way back in Alaska. Wildfire is actually raging across a lot of Canadian provinces and northwestern states. And you can see some of the examples of the air quality that they've gotten there. And like we've seen a little bit of here, that air filtering down from those uh, provinces up there to the north. It's all to do with the jet stream. And that jet stream is giving us some cooler temperatures too. If we look at our almanac, only got up to 82 degrees here in Quincy today. That's three degrees below our average. Our low was 63 degrees three degrees below our average. So we've been having a little bit of cooler nights than we're used to. The last few weeks we've been getting up almost to the 90 degree mark. So a little bit of cooler air with that air as it comes down from Canada. Right now showing sunshine and 79 degrees, but yeah, there is that haze in the sky. Northwest at six miles per hour. Got that dew point at 66 degrees. So a little bit of humidity out there too. Not too terrible, really, if you just look at this map here with upper 70s and lower 80s across the board. Lots of sunshine. So unfortunately, if it wasn't for that smoke, we'd be seeing, you know, really blue sky out there. But it's always something, it seems like, recently. All right, the mold is up there with the allergies, the grass a little bit, and the weeds up towards the moderate category as well. And here it is on the satellite and radar. Yeah, you can really see this is the smoke, I believe, filtering in from the north. There is some rain showers going on from the west here, and you can kind of see the whole uh, sy sy uh, system here is moving in from the northwest and filtering down. We're going to see a series of storm systems moving in from the northwest. The first one in line here is going to give us a very good chance of rain and thunderstorms beginning overnight into tomorrow morning. Now, it's going to be a part of a complex that forms out in eastern Nebraska, moves into our area. I think the best chance for some really heavy rain is going to be for our western viewers out in Missouri. Although I think there's a good chance that all of us could see some showers and thunderstorms by the time we wake up tomorrow morning. Now we're going to do it all over again as that surface low moves back to the east. going to give us some focus for some more storm development possibly by tomorrow afternoon. And again, some of those could be on the heavier side with uh, some pretty you know, pretty strong downpours. Again, another system filtering in from the northwest coming down. I'm thinking this one might miss us just to the west. Hopefully, keep your fingers crossed, might have a few days in here of some drier conditions. That would be fantastic. As far as those rain chances overnight, yep, best chance out to the west. I think an 80% chance for the folks out in Missouri. Everybody, I think, has a decent chance of seeing some rain and thunderstorms overnight into tomorrow morning. Again, those flood Flash flood watches actually just to the south here of the tri-state area, just to our south and southwest. I think where the real main bulk of that rain will be. All right, low temperatures tonight, mid 60s to upper 60s. So fairly nice out there uh, before the rain comes in. And the highs tomorrow, talking about low or upper 70s, maybe see some 80 degrees in those and those temperatures will be higher if the sun does manage to come out here tomorrow between those rounds of thunderstorms again. Yeah, I think a lot of us will see some rain in the morning and then some storms in the afternoon. And then again, hopefully, hopefully we miss out on a bulk of the rain here coming up through the holiday weekend. It depends though where those systems filter down and from the northwest right now, it looks like they're gonna just skip us to the west here and affect more of our southern and western neighbors, but uh, keep your fingers crossed. Okay, doing that and Chris Dewar